Now, right in front of you is the first couple of pages of uh, Blaring Horns of the Bull. This is Zuchispa. Uh, there's no formal title. There's no like title page for this. It's like I'm up to, uh, up to four pages. So uh, this has been fun so far. Uh, Gino wakes up and he's kind of tired. That's how I am. Um, I worked on Gino for a long time. Gino was one of the first characters. Now, uh, Gino Juarez, good guy, uh, kind of a goof. Uh, he has his own mariachi band that he like he would perform. I don't know if he's still out there or if he went to Mexico. I think I saw some picture that looked like him, but a little fatter. But I kept Gino skinny because that's kind of what uh, the way I used to remember him. Uh, I met this guy in 1998. We went to a uh, com community college and we did the theater, theater department. And uh, we had different classmates and uh, we kept in touch through the phone. I met his, I talked to his sister one time. Uh, we used to always talk on the phone. Remember when you used to talk on the fucking phone and you didn't have the text message, you didn't have we didn't have internet. We didn't have, uh, well, I mean, like, by the time Gino and I parted ways, that was the year 2000. So the internet was still like a a kiosk, go to a station at the library kind of thing, not a, it's in your hand. <laughs> if it melts in your mouth, right? It wasn't, it wasn't as uh, readily accessible, but here we are. So Gino's in this, and the way I drew him, I drew him with the silver jacket. Uh, that you might have seen in the uh, the art uh, that I started out with, and he had the the silver because the real Gino had a silver jacket. These are uh, Sonny's bonds and the Queen is. This is my original outline for all the uh, for the original story I was writing that I put up uh, a while back. Uh, Rose speaks to Ella. Marion tells the truth shows the proof so these are all like just uh what what i was doing for uh rosemary's story about sunny's boss rosemary and gino do know each other i have drawn these characters before if you go back to my playlist 23 years of story it's all there they have always been there so these two know each other now gino goes under eddie allen perez because that's his current incarnation but he remembers himself as gino uh it's a spanish death metal band all in espanol uh See, <laughs> obviously i would have him say something more frightening than buenos dias but you know when you're talking when you're when you're chanting in death metal you almost can't hear the lyrics kind of like you can't hear the lyrics of love songs on the radio anyway but um that's sunny's bonds and this is the Queen of Spades, uh, the formal story. This is this is the story that I uh, read to you all uh, when I was doing the, uh, the the comic book form. I decided to not do the comic book form of of all my stories uh, for this one because it's it's so much work. Um, this is the kind of stuff that doesn't get me lots of views. Yet when I started my channel. When I started doing Maestro Drake, the YouTube channel, uh, it was about telling stories. It was it was not about. This is the thing I I don't like the current anti SJW or SJW grifters who are just kind of. Not only are they grifting off content, it's the grifters who grift off of the grifters who had original content. So they don't try to be themselves. Okay, case in point, um, when. Um, Okay, I'll give you a perfect example. Okay, so you'll see like a thumbnail of somebody, right? But then they, they cover their hands. 8-Bit Eric does this shit, they, or, or Jeremy Griggs does that. They cover their hands like, oh, no, this this thing that we're looking at, this thing that we're looking at, here's this thing we're looking at. Oh, my God, what is this thing we're looking at? Dr. Disrespect is doing something. It's, it's this shit that I hate so much. It's not even original. It's like, be original. You know, if you... if. If you had the money and the resources and the fans to be original, be fucking original. Don't do this stupid thumbnail shit. Don't, don't treat your fans like retards, is what I'm trying to say. I know it's it's a bannable offense, but I think we're well past the four-minute mark to really not worry about stuff like that. Um, 
And I did have Gino's story. Here is the outline for Gino's story. The Zoo Chispa and the Zodiac Monster. But you weren't supposed to know that Gino was the monster that was haunting, uh, I put it, Jerry Weinfeld and Marissa Sherbert. Camiliano, <laughs> like Leon, right? And they're all like going on a road trip to go watch a band. So the, the Zoo Chispa, but they don't know that Gino turns into this monster. And we don't really know. We kind of get an idea that we, he probably is that character, but... Uh, I just lay it all out in the in the Zoo Chispa arc. And remember, all these stories connect to each other. So when you see Scales of the Dragon, right? Scales of the Dragon, that's supposed to connect to Gino's story. So that will, will be Chapter 2. Chapter 1 is Blaring Horns of the Bull. Scales of the Dragon is Chapter 2. But it's going to connect to this one. So... If you wanted to stop and go to the to the preview to the next video, which is Scales of the Dragon, uh, that'll be there. The link to that will be there, but it is not there yet because I have not finished that story. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it that way. If I should do it that way, uh, I don't know yet. All I know is that I'm not even done with the first chapter, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, they may be incomplete. I'm just trying to build upon these and see how far I go. But I keep the playlist for these. Uh, I can't do that on TikTok. I cannot do that on Instagram. So like with Reels. So the playlists are going to be trickier for that. I, maybe they'll come up with the playlist someday, but I, I, I don't think so. YouTube is the best place to do all that. So I'll still publish them on other, other outlets, other social medias, but... Um, the best way you can really view this is on YouTube. And that's where we can go from there. Um, that's it for now. I don't really have much more to add. Uh, Scales of the Dragon. So uh, Gino's going through a crisis, trying to deal with his uh, transformations, his metamorphosis into animals. Uh, why that's happening, how it's happening, uh, who's around him. That's going to be all uh, for you to discover later. All right. So uh Tune in next week. No, actually, let's see. Well, I'll, I'll give you updates about my channel uh, coming up 